Welcome to Two Hungry Cops. I'm Steve Clark. I'm Dan Campbell. And we're in Colton, California at Mommy Helen's Bakery. And we're going to go in and talk to Dorothy Pryor Rose about her company. Let's go. I'm Dan Campbell. Hi, Dan. I'm Steve Clark. Hi, Steve. Right. How and are we, you? Fine. We're with Two Hungry Cops. Okay. Yeah. You know. When you say Two Hungry Cops, what does that mean? That means we're hungry. <laughs> 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 and it. we're in the right place, right? Okay. Yes, you are. All right. You know the old cliche, the old stereotype <laughs> that cops like donuts, right? Oh, yes. Uh, my passion is way beyond donuts. Okay. Okay. What do you have for me? Um, I, I have some old-fashioned dessert. And we are at this bakery, it's called Mommy House Bakery. I'm the owner, and we've been here 10 years, in business 10 years, and um, we make old-fashioned desserts, not your donuts or your rolls or your bread. We make the peach cobblers, the apple cobblers, the berry pies, and the sweet potato pies, and we do make seven-up cakes, sakatumi cake, and old-fashioned pound cakes. We make just a lot of different things. I found out about you from another police officer. Good. So what's your connection with police? Oh, let me tell you. Um, I every now and then they have fundraisers, and I will work with them with the fundraisers, you know. And they do it for the children, so I'm all for the and, children. And uh, somebody broke in that first year, and the police de I, they called. We called them, and, and you can hear them say, "Mommy Helen's was broke into," so all these cars started coming, right? And so they said, "Who would do that to you?" And my sister was at that time, she said, well, if we knew, we would get them, you know. But then uh, they said, do you have any indication of who, who would do it? And so my sister says, well, I can tell you this, um, nationality-wise, he, whoever did it, he couldn't have been Afro-American. And the police officer said, why, why not? She said, our sweet potato pies would have been gone. They're still here. <laughs> So this is a seven inch deep right here. So it's like two people here, you know, can eat this. Then you have the small size, which is, um, we call it our small, it's a nine inch deep. And um, so that, that will feed six people. Yeah, but I just want you guys to do just a little sample taste of the berry uncooked. Oh, oh here okay. we go. Okay. Oh man, that hurts you. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah, and so now I'm going to uh, they are very, very good. That's the one that was in um Oprah's oh, book in October of oh, 2009. Yeah. That's the one that oh, okay. So it's it's a really good if you like berries, you know, it, it's great. So you have a lot of people from Texas, Arkansas and around here, they they love it. Yeah. They like the berry. And we put something special in it, so um, it's really good. And it's, it is natural. Right, so there is something special in there. <laughs> Apple pie. Ooh. 
Oh, could be. Could be. Oh, seven oh, up. Man. Oh. <laughs> I got my sweet potato. Mine's the best. Mine's the best. You start saying heaven. Mm. I'm in heaven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't had a mm. good trip in a while like this in a long time. It's good. What do you it's say? Good. Mm. Yeah. It is good. Yeah. Huh? It is good. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Two homie cops saying goodbye. Oh, Got man. my apple pie, man. All right. I got my sweet potato. <laughs> Closing up another uh, episode of Two Homie Cops. Visit us at twohomiecock.com. See you again, America, somewhere else in your hometown or anywhere else. Catch you later.